I'll try you. Where are you going? Are you waiting for us now? Good boy. Betray you, we're trying to go home. Where are you? Come on. Come on. Let's go home. Well, we are home. And now we are with the neighbor's dogs because they needed to get let out, huh? Oh, hi. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> we all know you're taller than everybody, bud. Oh, Aries can come over. Come here. Come here. I try you. I try you. <gasps> Who is that? Who is that? Is that a trail? Well, nope, they're playing. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back. Uh, it is another novelog, supposed to be. Obviously, I've not done any writing yet. It's my day off, Monday, what's today? Monday the 19th? Yeah. And um, it's been kind of a, like a busy day. Like I keep scheduling things on my day off and I need to stop doing that. But I had the chiropractor. My husband went to get his physical. What else did we do? We went to the park. We went to the park. And then we came home and we needed a break, so we had lunch. Well, he had lunch. I'm fasting, so... I was playing Lego Avengers. Since my brain needed a break. And then... Now we're letting the neighbor's dogs out. And the tree is here. Hi, tree. Are you happy that we got to see the neighbors? They don't really want to play today. You don't really want to play today. It's okay. We're having someone come over. So my co-worker's actually coming over. She's she's newer, um, but we just realized that we both write. So I was like, hey, if we get a day off together, we need to like get together and just have a writing session. So we're gonna do that, and then she's gonna meet you with Trey. Isn't that fun? So she'll be here whenever in a little bit, and then we'll get the dogs back inside. Oof. And yeah, we're gonna, hmm, you can meet somebody new and we're gonna get some writing done because I'm super behind. Good, <laughs> big surprise. I feel like anytime it's NaNoWriMo, I fall behind so quickly. However, I have hope that I can catch up because I'm on chapter 10 <laughs> still. Uh, and it's day 19, so I need to be like in chapter 19. But we'll, we'll make that up, we'll make up some ground. And there's there's no hard deadline. I just gotta stop stressing out about it. Did you wanna say anything at you? Did you wanna say anything? Yeah? No? <gasps> Hi. Look at this sweet boy. Mm, very sweet boy. Update time. It is about quarter to eleven right now. Very dark out, very late. And I got through chapter ten, then Pretty much the second half of chapter 10, 11, 12 so far are going very smoothly. It's pretty much the editing that I expected to do. I don't have to do any rewrites at this point. Maybe like a couple small things here and there. It's so much better. My friend just left actually. She was here for like six hours, <laughs> but we got, while we didn't, I didn't get like so many chapters done. We actually did talk about a lot of things with both of our stories and I got feedback that I've been wanting to hear and see because she and during breaks like she read a few more of the chapters that I edited and I was getting the the questions and the reactions that I wanted so I'm on the right track I think I'm on the right track I'm really excited that that's like given me some energy to uh to keep going so I'm going to move to the couch and get comfy try to get through for more chapters and I think I'll update you guys in the morning slash Wednesday on my next day off. I'm in a good mood. I'm feeling good. Also, Falcon and Winter Soldier, if you aren't watching that, you should watch it because it's fantastic. So well written. Also, The Umbrella Academy. I don't remember if I mentioned that last time, but definitely binge watched season two and it's really good. Those stories are so well written and they're so layered. But it's so motivating and so inspiring to like see it and feel how good they are because I feel very I feel very good 
I've been in a very good move, <clears throat> like creative space since watching episode five of Falcon and Winter Soldier yesterday. So I'm going to keep writing it, try to get a few more chapters edited and then call it a night. So I'll update you guys tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, I would like to know whose idea this was. I don't need snow in April. I don't need, I mean, I guess it's not terribly cold, but it's snowing, bud. Oh, you will like it because you can eat the snow. You gonna come inside? Are you just gonna eat the snow? Well, somebody's okay with it. I am not okay with it. Look who's in the office. Hello. Did you hear me talking to you in the video? This is silly, guys. Here, I'm gonna skip back a couple. <laughs> in the video. You want He's looking at my speaker. <laughs> buddy, buddy. It's just a video. It's just a video talking. Because he hears me in the video talking to him. We'll do it again. <laughs> do it again. Okay. Just watch him. He looks like looks at the speaker. snowing and it is sunny what is going on anywho just got out of work yeah so just got out of work at the mall of course it got busy right before I left so I was like bye I'm going to head home I've been thinking a lot about what I want to do today obviously I need to do the edits and write however I've really been like I just want to draw something and I want to work on one of the character portraits actually. I think I'm going to try to do that when I get home. Like when I'm fasting, my brain doesn't turn on until after I'm done fasting. So I'm not 100% confident in what I'd be able to do anyway. So I'm not exactly sure. I might try to finish because I'm halfway through chapter 13 right now. It's the 21st. It's the 21st. I'm a week behind. And I, But I think like I should have realized this because this is what I did at the beginning of the year is I did two week concentrations because after two weeks usually that side of my brain needs a break and I need to recharge and do the other things which is why I've been bouncing back between writing and drawing and all that. But there's only a week and a half left of April somehow. Like April just has gone by. I want to keep doing sort of my Camp Nano goal. But I didn't like sign up for it officially and no one's really watching this anyway so I can probably just do what I want to do I don't know I just have mixed feelings about it I need to start taking advantage of my mornings more anyway I'm gonna go home and figure that out probably have to do something with the puppy I'm sure I'm sure all right and in comfy clothes the pupper is there wanting attention hi pupper I'm gonna give him attention I promised but I have a package. Ah. Okay, first off, it's not an Amazon order. I, I told you guys I don't like order a bunch of things all the time. That was nuts. Let's put that. Let's put the hood back up. <laughs> this was a Kickstarter pre-order. I think it was a pre-order of. No, I got hair everywhere. It's great. Of the Unstable Games newest game, Happy Little Dinosaurs, and I mean this is all like. Uh, peeling off right now but come on dinosaurs guys so I had to get it so I'm gonna unbox that with you guys add a little more excitement into this vlog you going outside in the wet mm. okay bye so we're gonna unbox this together and see all the cool little dinosaurs. dinosaurs sidebar I know I haven't really used my tripod at all on these vlogs I've only used it on the uh 
my quarter one book review videos are. I still use it for the light and everything, but uh, since, I mean, with a vlog, it's kind of more spontaneous, so I'm not going to just carry the tripod with me. So I'll get you guys at a better angle in a minute. Maybe I'll find a better angle. Can we guys leave this one? I put you here in the banana bowl. Now you just eat me. Ha ha. Oh, there's the, there's the bowl. Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh man, it's a big box. This is huge. Look at how big this is. This is huge. Oh, look at the cute little dinosaurs. The little yellow one. I think he's my favorite already. Happy Little Dinosaurs exclusive edition. Smile, it's almost over. Lately it feels like we're all just dinosaurs trying to avoid the falling meteors. In this two to six player game, you'll try to dodge all of life's natural, predatory, and emotional disasters. You might fall into a pit of hot lava, get attacked by saber-toothed squirrels, or be ghosted by your dino day. But the dino who survives it all wins the game. So there's 147 cards, six dinosaur meeples, so like little character things and six dinosaur player boards and a rule book. So, grabbing the knife again. This is beautiful, man. I wish I could print like this quality stuff. One day, one day, you can dream. So we got your real book. Looks like this, these are the game board. Oh, so look at everything. But look at these little meeples. You got your Brontosaurus and your Triceratops and your Stegosaurus and T-Rex and your Raptor and a Pterodactyl. I love them all. And they feel like a good wood-ish wood. It's like a little wood dinosaur. Can you focus? Focus. Don't look at the dinosaur. Whatever. A little dinosaur. Oh, that's adorable. And there's definitely going to be expansions because look at all this extra space. Like, each slot has a good inch where you could add cards. So I approve of this game. I approve already. I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it for those who haven't seen it. And I want to open the rest with my husband later so we can play it. So that'll kind of be our little surprise tonight. But I just wanted to see the dinosaurs. That's so cool. I'm happy. Happy little dinosaurs. If you haven't ordered it and you didn't know about it and you love dinosaurs and board games, slash card games, then you should check it out. Check out Unstable Games. They're the ones who do Unstable Unicorns, Llamas Unleashed, a couple other things. Check that out. Okay, now I'm obviously working in the office and I did decide to start with a portrait. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of that. I'm doing not quite the main character, but I'm doing his best friend, Liam. I really just wanted to work on his portrait. I have no idea how it's gonna go. I've only done one other semi-realistic character portrait and I feel like that was luck that it turned out well. It is on my Patreon, so it's not public yet. I'm gonna flip the camera over and show you guys kind of my setup as I'm processing this. So you can see on my lovely screen here, I have Krita open. And I just did a sketch kind of based on this reference image I found on Google. Really, I just really like his fluffy hair. <laughs> and this is gonna get like trimmed a bit. So maybe trimmed on both sides. And I'm sure as I'm working, kind of the different facial features will develop. So this, this kind of looks very simple cartoony for me. It's not exactly what I'm going for, but I'm trying to get the just basic stuff laid down. I guess while I'm talking about it, I should remember to record this on my computer so I can do a speed draw sort of thing on also like remember what I did. So this is going to be interesting, but here's the before. If I do not fail and it is successful, I'll put it up as a, spree, a speed draw later, I believe. Or maybe if I finish it, I'll show you guys. But <laughs> this is where we're starting at. Reference picture. Liam, sketch, very basic, very like I already want to change it. So here's where we're starting. It is six o'clock now and you guys got a quick speed draw of where I'm at at this point with just like his face and his hair done. I was struggling at the beginning cause I couldn't figure out my approach to make the layers right. And his skin's a little bit darker yet. So I want to lighten him up 
pretty happy with the way he's looking. I obviously need to finish his ears. I know, I know I need to finish his ears, but I was getting the hair done first. So then that was more like what's covered. I don't have to worry about it. And then his clothing. So I think I'm gonna stop where I'm at right now and come back to it later, either tonight or at a different time. I'm gonna go see the puppy because I hear him whining. I hope you guys like that. Like this is Liam. This is my boy. This is one of my boys. <laughs> This book, but really I think Rome and Liam are like my top two boys. Got that out of my system for the most part. Like I want to keep finishing it, but I need to take a break. So I'm gonna go take a break. Oh boy. It has been a long day. It is now 10.40 and I just finished more or less Liam's portrait. Uh, I added a little bit more texture to it and I kind of messed with the color. I'm happy with it. It's not a hundred like I I don't have enough experience or like knowledge on how I want to make it exactly how I want it so like for now yes I'm like super happy with it because it's the third semi-realistic portrait that I've done this year and I just started kind of doing more digital painting so pretty happy with it I'm gonna show it to you guys right now there's my boy uh like I said I'm sure there might be some like changes here and there once I figure out different techniques for now I'm pretty happy with it and I did also I, I think I mentioned I got to chapter 15 I updated all the word counts so I'm 41,000 words through the book currently so I'm almost halfway I'm almost halfway it feels better to say that let's pretend that this is the end of the vlog if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't if you want to see more portraits let me know as well i i mean i have a whole like that section right there those are all the portraits i wanted to do this quarter and liam is my first i'm not necessarily behind because i was working on the oh it's not even up there but like i guess all the edit chapter edits are on the calendar here so that was my primary focus this month, but I, I just needed to do something artsy, creative, illustrative. So I'm going to fix a few things, but overall I'm happy with it. So all of my social media links are in the description below. And if you, yeah, like I said, if you guys want to see anything or you guys are doing camp mail, let me know. Figure we can talk. We can talk. We can do the things. We're getting closer to the parts where I know I was going to have to do a few more changes, especially... Definitely on Sparrow side, there was a couple of changes I had to do and some ad chapter I had to add in. And I think Rome's ending, I'm going to slightly tweak as well. But, but I keep going on tangents. I'm so sorry. I'm from the Midwest. This is a Midwestern goodbye. Farewell. Talk to you guys next time.